Welcome to HOWC Podcast. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about our ministry, please visit us online at heartofworshipchurch.com. Why does evil exist? This is a common question that will be presented to every Christian at some point in their walk of faith. When this question is presented to you, what will you say? Will you be able to answer it? For me personally, the complexity of the possible responses that come to mind can be dizzying and unsatisfying, to say the least. That is, until God gave me the very simple and clear answer that I am about to share with you. I am convinced that God, though His wisdom is far greater than our own, understands our limits and speaks to us with simplicity. He wants us to understand. But He also wants us to seek His wisdom and not rely on our own. So when faced with questions like these, do not feel pressured to provide any answer for the sake of having an answer, because in actuality that's pride, but rather take the time to seek God, and He will reveal the most complex truths to you in the simplest ways. So for me, when questioning why does evil exist, God simply said this, Why is there cold? Why is there darkness? Why is there sadness? Why is there evil? And with those simple words, it all finally made sense because, you see, cold does not actually exist in and of itself, but rather cold is simply the absence of heat. Likewise, darkness does not exist in and of itself, but rather darkness is the absence of light. And what is sadness but the absence of joy? In that moment, I understood that evil does not actually exist in and of itself either, but rather is the absence of love. That is to say, the absence of God, in a way. Since 1 John chapter 4 tells us that God is love. So then we have to ask, what can cause an absence of God? Well, only we can do that when we push him away. So what we are really asking is, why does God allow? us? And the answer to that is simple, because God is love. John chapter 3 verse 16 says that, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The passage continues to tell us that he did not come to condemn the world, but to save it, because that the world was already condemned by their own actions, because they chose to separate themselves from him. But yet he pursued us. He left heaven's grandeur and came down to earth, gave his life, suffered and sacrificed to show us how much he loved us, to call us back into his presence. Having just gone through a total solar eclipse, I again can kind of see this picture manifested. The Bible says that the light of his countenance shines upon us, especially in times of prayer and of worship. But when things begin to get very dark in our life, it's often because something else has come between us and him and began to eclipse that light, casting a shadow. Because again, the absence of light is darkness. When the moon passed in front of the sun, it didn't create darkness. It just blocked out the light. Something got in the way. It got in between us and the sun. And so the consequence of that was an absence of light and the darkness overtook the land. Coldness began to grip everyone. It felt so ominous. So perhaps we need to take a moment today to seek the Lord as we pray and say, what has we allowed to get in the way of your presence in our life? What is causing the darkness, the coldness, the evil, to have a place. Because whatever it is, we need to get it out of the way. Lord, let there be nothing in between us. Let there be clear communication. Let us bask in the glory of your presence. 
Let your love be manifested to us and then through us to those around us. Because that's why evil exists. It starts with the simple eclipse of the presence of God in our life. We let other things get in the way and then we begin to grow cold and dark inside. And then before we know it, we're no longer exhibiting the loving character of God. And then we begin to be influenced by the dark forces that are opposed to it. O oh Lord, forgive us. Shine your face upon us. Fill us with your presence. Lead us by your good spirit. Thank you for not giving up on us, but for providing a way of redemption, a way to call us out of the darkness and into your marvelous light. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for joining us today. This program was brought to you by HOWC Media Ministries. For more messages like this or information about our ministry, please visit us online at heartofworshipchurch.com.